now vacuum cleaning the seafloor. This is one job, huh? Who doesn't want to live a long and healthy life? My name is Niklas Ekstedt, and I run three restaurants. My greatest passions are food and health. Since I recently crossed the 40-year-old mark, and it feels like I'm in the middle of my life, thoughts of living for as long as possible run through my mind more frequently. There are six mythical areas in the world where it's common that people live to become 100 years or more. These places are called the Blue Zones. How come you get so old in these places? Who are the people living there? How do they live? What do they eat? And what is the secret to a long and healthy life? I have decided to travel the world and visit the Blue Zones to get answers to my questions. This is the first time I cook breakfast for a hundred-year-old man. Cafe. Look at that! Jeez! Are you kidding me? She has her own radio show? You don't know. You have sex up to a high age as well. Are you done for today or are you going to do more work? <laughs> no, no, I, I've already been here for two hours. <laughs> you are hipsters. Yes, but we started it. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, I will come back knowing how to live to the magic age of 100 or even more. What you're saying, actually, <laughs> is that my diet can change my gene? Yes, exactly. But you believe in the devil? Yes. In hell? Yeah. Bye-bye. It's just difficult to understand. I mean, he's born in 1915. Okinawa has always been on the top of my bucket list. It's a place that I've always wanted to visit. Okinawa has been an independent island state and junction for trade in East China Sea for centuries. This, along with the tropical climate, is the foundation of a unique area of cooking that has inspired me and many others. Here, the inhabitants have developed a lifestyle that has given them a superior health. It is said to be the place on Earth with the biggest chance for people to reach 100 years. But since Okinawa was a US colony for 27 years after the Second World War, the presence of Americans on the island has influenced the culture as well as the food. I wonder how that agrees with longevity. So it's always very exciting to visit local markets. It's the best place to get to know more about the local food and what they eat. And so I'm going to meet up with Dr. Craig, who's going to show me around the market and also tell me more about the health and the centenarians on this island. Dr. Craig Wilcox is a professor in public health at the Okinawa International University. He is also responsible for the Okinawa Centenarian Study. Hey, you must be Craig. Yeah, you must be Nicholas. It is. <laughs> How are you? Good. And yourself? What are these? These are Okinawan donuts. Perfect. Yes. We start off talking about health and we got a <laughs> donuts. eating donuts. <laughs> Cooked in healthy oils and using brown sugar. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about you and how did you end up on the island? Okinawa is known as a blue zone. Mm -hmm. It's just pockets of uh, healthy aging and longevity where people live long and healthy lives around the world. And um, I was interested in healthy aging. Mm -hmm. So I joined the Okinawa Centenarian Study. So I came out to work with uh, Dr. Suzuki, okay. who's the founder of the study. What's the main difference between longevity on these islands compared to mainland Japan. There's a lot of cultural differences between Okinawa and mainland Japan. There's different um, dietary habits. The main difference being in the staple, which is the sweet potato here. And in the mainland of Japan, it's, it's rice. Okay. Uh, a little more seaweed here, a little less fish, a little more meat. They're not strong believers in Buddhism here, as in the mainland, they have their own indigenous okay. religion. So there was no prohibitions against eating meat here. Okay. And pork was always the, the traditional meat. Really? So the traditional Okinawan diet was nutrient dense, but calorically poor. The ideal combination for healthy aging.
Look at this, it looks like a coral reef fish. So the, so the main diet, I mean, it looks like fish, but the main diet is not fish, is that it was pork. Well, traditionally, um, but the e equal amounts of fish and um, other meats. In Japan, it says we should eat 30 different foods every day. Ah. So variety is a, a very, Three zero. very important. Yes. Good number. Look at this. Yeah, that's a uh, fugu type. This is a fugu. It's taking the skin off. It's because the skin is poisonous. Oh, is it? <laughs> this is good to know. God. <laughs> <laughs> Okinawa is a bunch of islands, and it's 140 islands. And they have this island attitude. It's kind of a slower pace, it's kind of a happy-go-lucky and optimistic. They like say, the Caribbean? Yeah, kind of like a don't worry, be happy kind of attitude. They say nan kuru naisa. Kind of like whatever will be, will be. Okay, so what kind of, happens, happens. Right, it's a uh. stress-resistant kind of personality, I'd call it. So the attitude, the religion, and the diet is different from mainland Japan. Yes. Tomaki is a 38-year-old restaurant owner and food enthusiast, working with a traditional Okinawan kitchen. Hello, Nicholas. Hey. hey! Nice to meet you. Thank you so much Thank for showing for me around. Me. Yeah? How are you? Excellent. It's a little warm for a Swede. Yeah, it's a little hot in Okinawa yes. as well. Yeah. <laughs> so we are going to meet uh, Yoshiko living mm -hmm. in Chatan today. Mm -hmm. And we are going to cook one of the famous Okinawan cuisine, which is called Goya Champuru. Goya Champuru. Yeah, Goya is bitter melon. OK. So this is it? OK, yeah. We're right there? Yes, we're here. Yes. This is uh, Yoshiko's house. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes. So how do I say just hi? Can I shake your hand or is it OK? Or well, you I don't shake hands? Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. What did I say? Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. So I take my shoes off? Yeah. yeah. Konnichiwa. Hi. Konnichiwa. Yoshiko-san. Konnichiwa. Nicholas. Nicholas. So, so she lives here by herself? So family is living around. Ah, okay. Okay. So you have your family close. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. So many wow. things. O Okinawa donut. <laughs> Okinawa donut. Yeah, Okinawa donut. <laughs> so what's this now? Tofu? Tofu. You eat tofu. Wish you. Try it. Mm. So you're 93 years old and you cook every day. Now, 93 years old. 92 years old. 92. 92. Yeah, of course. Sorry. <laughs> she says, I'm young. Yeah, yeah, you're young. Yeah. What does he think about people that retire when they're 65 and don't do anything? Ah, uh, <laughs> Okay. Did, did she have a, have a profession? Was, did she ever work somewhere? At the... uh, she was running a shop. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Never. Never. Yeah. She must have experienced Okinawa with very little products, very little food, through the war and everything, and now she has a lot of things. あの、兵隊の食料をするか。なんか民間にはこんな小さな道に1日に1個ずつ。ああ、なるほど。
食べ物わからないけどチーズが来たわけ四角いチーズだ。石鹸だと思ってこれでお風呂入ったら油だらけ。<laughs> she thought it was a hand soap. Yeah. <laughs> And she still eats the canned food. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 70 years later, her love of canned pork is still there. <laughs> Tofu. 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 <laughs> so bitter melon, uh, canned pork. And uh, tofu. What is this? It's called nigana no shirae. Nigana no shirae. Nigana is direct translation is bitter vegetable. Just no ne yakuso no shirai no no ne. Yeah, yeah. Always they say that the more bitter the vegetable is, the better is it is for us. Yeah. I mean, this is very nice chopped, right? Professional. Yeah. <laughs> and now tofu. So you want to put miso first? Okay, yeah. miso first. Hmm? Okay. Mix? Yeah. I'm okay. messing okay. with... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Peanut butter. Mm. It's funny, there's some American ingredients. Huh? Mm -hmm. This dish, I mean, sums Okinawa up. You have bitter leaves, but you have a little bit of American ingredients mm -hmm. there. Yeah. A little bit of mainland <laughs> Japanese miso. That's, that's true. And tofu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wow! This is really good. Well done. I'm a little tall for this. So what does she do when she's not cooking? あ、あ、ありがとう。あと、ウェイディさん。そう、私はね、あの、毎晩ね、月に1、週間に1回の木曜日。これ1週間に1回なの。毎週ですか?毎週。うちはさ、息子がね、she goes out with her friends and sing karaoke. Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Can I come with her? Ah, do you? Yes. This would be the first time I go out and sing karaoke in Japan. Ah, so can I? No, Tsuki, Yonkai, radio bangomi mo. Are you kidding me? She has her own radio show. Yeah, no radio show. Kotoba de te yu koto de. 私沖縄の言葉得意なので、沖縄の言葉で話をするということです。So she can teach me maybe a word in Okinawan? はい。トゥーサからメンソーチ。遠いとこからいらっしゃったってこと。トゥーサからメンソーチ。トゥーサから。トゥーサから。トゥーサから。トゥーサから。トゥーサからメンソーチ。トゥーナサカマランチョ。Now this is too complicated. Let's go out and sing karaoke instead. Let's go and sing. Spanska, Swedish, Skål. Skål. If we think about the Okinawan Blue Zone, older people in Okinawa, they've been physically active their whole lives. They've been farmers or fisher folk, so they've burned a lot of calories. They have strong social connections, so supportive families, strong social networks, they have these kind of social groups called Moai, for example. They used to call them the people's banks because in the days before banks used to lend you money, the whole village would contribute. But mostly it's, it's more of a friendship-based function. So these Moai still survive in, in Okinawa. <laughs> Nicholas Sanders.
。はい、スウェーデンから来てます。スウェーデン。そうですよね。ね、すごい寒いところってよ。夏は日が暮れないってよ。ずっと来てないといけない。What a wonderful feeling to see Yushiko and her friends gather to spend time to chat, dance, and sing. It's fascinating that they put so much effort in their social life, even at an old age. I can truly see that this is one of the reasons that they live a healthier life. What an amazing lady! Huh? Uh, I mean, fun. so much energy. <laughs> yeah. Very powerful. So that's all you need, pretty much. Uh, good friends, music, and good yeah. food. Yeah, and dance. Yeah. And dance. One of the most famous ingredients in the West from the Japanese kitchen has to be miso. Every sushi restaurant around the world is serving miso soup. Until now, I had no idea that miso is part of the superfoods and that it can really keep you healthy and well. well look at this. Wow. Yeah. What a so place, this huh? This is a, a real miso factory. It's all done by hand, huh? Yes, they are the only one produce miso in Okinawa and okay. still keep the like, traditional style okay. of miso So this making. is the old style of yes. making yeah. miso. Yes. And miso is what? What is it exactly? It's a... um, miso is one of the fermented uh, products. Mm -hmm. uh, so the ingredients are soybean and we add koji mold. Okay. So Koji mold. Mold. Okay, so the yeah, koji... like cheese, so okay. ferment. And it was probably a way back in the days to save mm -hmm. the soya yeah, bean, preserve. right? Yeah. To serve it right. before refrigerators yeah. and... Yeah, it said yeah. the miso's history started around like 1300 years ago. Okay, 1300 years, years ago. ago. Okay, very, very old yeah. process. It's a steam cooker. First, they boil soybean in this tank. Okay. Like around 90 minutes and then the soybean is moved to, into that grinder. Yeah. Yeah, and grind it and put it here. Okay. Every time when you come to a place with a very rich food culture, there's always a very solid craft behind it. Personally, I would say that there must be a faster and simpler way of doing this. But just like many other places, there is most likely a huge pride in doing it according to the old traditions. And people here maintain that the results do become much better this way. Very gluey, huh? But you can actually taste that there's gonna be miso from it. Mm -hmm. Cooked soya beans, grinded down, minced down to this paste where you add koji mold and salt. Yes. And then you put them in barrels to ferment it. Yes. Some are more than six months. Six months? Yes. Oh, so it's like wine, pretty much. Yes. <laughs> so what are the health benefits with miso? Yeah, miso lowers blood pressure mm -hmm. and also cholesterol. Okay. And also by fermentation, some nutrition such as amino acid increase. Okay. Yeah. So it's actually the fermentation process that you add to the soya beans that actually makes it more healthy. And yes. Hello, Hello. <laughs> Niklas. Niklas Andes. Tamana Andes. Tamana, Mr. Oh. Tamana, oh. CEO. All right. And uh, has it always been your family's factory? Ah, uh, here Tamana has a good family. Good family. Good family. 
Fifth generation. Fifth generation yeah. miso maker. So how how long have you have you been working with miso? Oh, uh, mm. So he has worked for like miso working here mm. for the last 50 years. And how how old is he? Now how old is he? Eighty three years old. You're eighty three yes. and still working. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> strong working. <laughs> he loves working here. Yeah. So yeah. this is what That's keeps him is. going. Yeah. The people of Okinawa stay active and eat healthy up to a very old age. It is said to be a reason for them living longer. But researchers are talking about a genetic heritage as a affecting factor for a long life. If that's true, I wonder if it really matters how one lives. A couple of things here we have to qualify. One, genes are not static mechanisms. They work in concert with lifestyle. So your lifestyle can upregulate longevity genes, or a poor lifestyle can downregulate the function of longevity genes. Even if you have an average version, you can still make it work better. So how would you do that? For example, dietary mechanisms, polyphenols, seaweed-based carotenoids. That would change your genes? Yes, we've, we've no, taken... No, no, wait, wait, wait. I, I, this is, this is <laughs> oh, it's too much. <laughs> so you, what you're saying, actually, is that my diet can change my gene? Yes, exactly. I mean, there are certain nutritional advice or rules that everybody should be following. They're simple. Don't want to eat too many calories. Mm. Okinawa, they have a saying, harahachibu. So you always push yourself away from the table when you're, say, approximately 80% full. You still have a little room in your stomach. Leave hungry. Leave a little bit hungry. Stay hungry. It's, this kicks in caloric restriction mechanisms. Turns on longevity genes. Really? Yes. As a species, human beings have been caloric restricted. It's been feast or famine throughout evolution. And when there's a famine, your genetic program goes into survival mode and you get these longevity effects. But there's foods too. I mean, you can, there's foods that are called caloric restriction mimetics. So they mimic the effects of caloric restriction. What would they be, for example? Well, again, we get back to um, what flavonoids or, or polyphenols, or speaking of different foods, sweet potatoes are caloric restriction. Mm -hmm. you know? So, so food with series. a lot of colors. The rainbow diet. Do you want to go caloric restricted? Eat a lot of vegetables, right? Vegetables are full of nutrients. They're very calorically poor, but they're very nutrient rich. And that's the ideal food. Reverse. So, less meat, more vegetables, leave hungry. That's, those are three very good things you could start. Yeah. Tomorrow. <laughs> Today. <laughs> leave the donuts for you. <laughs> okay, feels like it's time to start upgrading my genes. I will start off with seaweed, which they eat loads of here. This is why Tomaki and I will go out in the ocean fishing for seaweed. One of the reasons why longevity is so present on the island is because the diet is very healthy uh -huh. and very diverse yeah. and good for you. Yeah. Is that something that's known? Do people, do people know this? That's an interesting question. I don't think so. Like what we eat is just part of your daily life. Yeah. We don't right, recognize it. Oh, we eat this, that's why we live longer or, you know. So it's just there. It's just part of the culture, the yeah, food. Yeah. And so it's nothing that you talk about at your house or in the school or. No, very much. No. Exciting. I've been on a lot of boats fishing for fish, but never for seaweed. So this is the first time I go on a seaweed boat. <laughs> yes, are you excited? <laughs> Very. OK, these are our friends. Yes, Hinjo-san. Hi. Konnichiwa. Hi, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Head north. Where's north? This way? Oh, this way. Sorry. <laughs> So 
cultivated uh, seaweed. Yes, cultivated yeah. seaweed. What's it called? Mozuku. Mozuku. Yes. And it's very typical for Okinawan cuisine. Very see. typical. We yeah. eat the kind of every day, very often. So does it work like in regular farm? Do you put seeds in the in the sand or no? Generally, they put seeds on the net. Ah, uh, okay. Before they put the net in the water. Okay. Yeah. And you wait for six months. Yeah. And then they harvest the seaweed. Yeah. yeah. Here is a farm. Oh, this yeah. is the farm. Oh. There is mosque underwater. Can you see some like brown stuff? Yeah. That's the seaweed. Yeah. So Kazu is a diver. Okay. To take the horse with him to suck up mozuku. Oh, so it's basically a, like a vacuum cleaner. Yes, right. Yeah, so he's going with that down. Yeah. And the seaweed comes up in this pipe here. Mm -hmm. And then comes down like this. Yep. And here is just to rinse it, to clean it. Right, separate yeah. the, the, some stuff from the yeah. mosque. And you eat this pretty much like this, straight up, right? Yep. Fresh. Yep. It's delicious. It's very yeah, good. Yeah, but it's a little too, too a little salty. salty yeah. yeah, but still. <laughs> it's like noodles. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Like tapioca noodles. Tapioca noodles. <laughs> <laughs> Can we cook this tomorrow? Yeah, let's. Okay. And what are the health benefits? Why is it so good? Uh, like, mozuku is rich in dietary fiber mm -hmm. and also like vitamins, minerals. And also, especially mozuku has a nutrition called fukoidan. Mm -hmm. Fukoidan observes purely bacteria in your stomach. Okay. Yeah, purely bacteria is a major cause of stomach cancer. All right. And we, if we could build farms like this and eat more of these type of ingredients, it's not only good for us, but it's also good for the environment, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's very sustainable. Shatan Town, also called the American Village, is mainly known for being a meeting place for youngsters. It is a very Americanized part of Okinawa. Here, you will find restaurants, cinemas, theaters, and bars. But the city is not only entertainment. Even though the United States of America gave back Okinawa to Japan in the 70s, the Americans have stuck around. 53% of the American village surface are military bases. The most problematic effect of Americanization in Okinawa has been the fast food culture. More hamburger joints per capita than anywhere else in Japan. Lots of steak. People eat a lot more meat than they ever used to. And that's mainly due to the American influence. I think younger people in Okinawa, they're very receptive to most things American. Hey, Saudi. Hello. How are Hello. you? Hi, how are you? Good. So, hey, Niklas. Mizuki. Mizuki? Hello. Dion. 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 How are you, Saudi? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh. How are you? How, are you? how is it's Okinawa? A, it's a little warm for me. <laughs> I'm from Sweden, so I'm a polar bear, you know. It's, it's a... but normal, yeah. normal day. So sorry, where are we? What's in this a, place? This is an American village okay. in, a, in a Chatan city. So many Americans come here because the very big, biggest 
based on what over there and the other side and um, looks like American. That's why. Looks like Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. And someone told me, I don't know if this is true, the closer you live to American Village and the, uh, and the base, the less, Very... health, the he less healthy you are. <laughs> yeah. Is that true? That's true. Yeah. That's true. Because we can get the big hamburgers, uh. big Coke, and um, uh. anything we can get. So, if you want to go to the restaurant, you can 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 go to the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd rather you rather eat a hamburger than a traditional Okinawan dish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that they're gonna be changing right now. It's a big change. Yeah, right big now. changing. My friend who is the nurse. Yeah. She said that uh, so many sixties. Yeah. In the hospital. So people who are in their 60s mm -hmm. are more sick than the people that are in their in the, 80s. Yes. Wow. The older people live longer than pretty well everybody else in the world. The younger people, middle-aged people, higher risk for lifestyle-related diseases, such as cardiovascular diseases, higher rates of obesity, higher rates of diabetes. This is what younger people are faced with. These are the challenges. So our generation won't right. live as long as the old generation. Well, life expectancy is still growing, but mm -hmm. it's growing much more slowly than it used to. Actually, if you look at average life expectancy at birth, you're seeing uh, not much differences between the mainland and Okinawa now. But on, on the positive side, there's been a real resurgence of of traditional Okinawan culture and a uh, return to the roots of the traditional Okinawan diet. The slow food movement is very strong here. So slowing down, spending time eating with family members, taking time to prepare food. My new friend Tomaki is one of the few who is trying to turn the trend and teach traditional Okinawan cooking and healthy food. So this is your neighborhood? Yes, this yeah. is our street. And you run your little restaurant here? Yes. Yeah. We have a studio over there. Nice. Hello. I'm Niklas. Rina. Rina. Hi, how are you? That's your sister? Yes. Yeah? Older sister. Older sister? Yes. Ah. Are you the one in charge? Yes. You, yeah, you're in yes. charge? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so we're gonna cook braised pork belly with special miso sauce. Okay. So pork is a big thing in Okinawa. We often say that uh, we eat all parts of the pig except the oink, so basically everything. <laughs> so one of the techniques which makes pork dish still healthy is we pre-boil pork for two hours before cooking, which decreases the unnecessary fat. All right. And then... Uh, the fat is good though, it's tasty. Yeah, so I would say unnecessary fat, <laughs> you know? Okay. This is a miso we just got from Tamanaha Miso Factory. Okay, we put this in here? Yeah. Onito stock. The... Onito is fish, yeah. like tuna. Mirin. Mirin, sweet sake. Sweet sake. This is sugar. And then uh, mori, which is local liquor. <laughs> ah, that's good. So how long is this going to cook now for? One hour. Mm -hmm. One hour. Uh, let's cook tempura. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So what's the secret for a good tempura batter then? What's the secret? Yes. Um, there is no secret. There's no secret. <laughs> so how do you do a, a good tempura batter? Yeah. Rina should tell. Oh, OK, I'll ask her. You don't know, huh? I don't know much <laughs> about it. <laughs> so, Compared to Japanese tempura, yes. the butter is very thick. So it's okay. more like frita. So we use egg and yam. And yam? Yes. That's uh, the tempura. secret. Yeah. Egg in here. So perfect. You can be our assistant today. <laughs> yes. Thank you. And yam? For having me. <laughs> so, okay, that's the Okinawan way to make tempura. Right. And flour. 
So gently. Oh, gently. Yeah, so. This is the, the one we fished yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Put that in here? Yeah. You want it in here? Yes. Yeah. I'm just making sure. <laughs> Your sister, I'm double checking with her. Checking. No worries. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. Fresh mozuku. Fresh mozuku. Picked up by me. Yeah. <laughs> so th these are traditional dishes from Okinawa. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Let's try the pork. It's very soft. Mm. Rich mm -hmm. and sweet. And there's acidity to it. And then you have the fermented flavor from yeah, the miso. miso. Oh. Good? Really good. Wow. That's amazing. I mean, really tasty. It's almost like an omelet, because it has those mm -hmm. eggs in it. And it's not greasy at all. Yes. And then you got the salty seaweed and... Oh. So the secret is to eat a lot of vegetables mm -hmm. and a lot of seaweed. Yeah. And when using meat, you use it as a side dish or to enhance the flavors of the vegetables when you're cooking them. Mm -hmm. So take nutrition balance. Balance yeah. is uh, most important to keep it health. Yeah. I mean, that was really delicious. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay. And thank your sister. I think she's the one that do the cooking. Right? <laughs> Just me. <laughs> you're a spoiled man. <laughs> like a flower. Dr. Craig Wilcox told me one shall eat about 30 various kinds of food each day. And we, as Westerners, should also cherish eating more varied food. But it's not only the food that has made the elderly Okinawan people live a long life. They've also maintained a physical, active lifestyle. Okinawa is very famous for its longevity, but it's even more famous for its martial arts, and especially karate, who, which originates from this island. So I'm now on my way to meet up with a karate master who will teach me some moves. And this will be new to me, because I've never done any types of martial arts. <laughs> Niklas. Hi. Hi. Arigato. Arigato. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Hi, dancers. I put this on in here? Okay. Okay. I wonder if this is how Karate Kid felt the time he trained with Mr. Miyagi. Okay. This. <laughs> You're twice the age of me, and you're still doing karate. Is it something you can go on forever with karate? Yes, I think it's a very important thing. I was born in karate in 1988. I was born in 
So is it only the karate or is there something else in your life that you do to keep fit and be in good health? え、自分は、え、大体、え、独自に起きて、起訴してね。そうやって道場に来て、そうやって、え、体に関するような準備運動をしてから足腰を鍛えるためにはウォーキング。うん、ウォーキング。うん。ウォーキング。チェストポンチ。1。待ち。そして楽しく終わったら良かったなというその気持ちね。今日は良かったなというその気持ちをね、あれしたら、え、過ごすのが<笑><笑> この50年間私が空手やって50年間それで続けてきました。2。いやいや、ストレート。え、足腰がね、足足腰が立つまではね、自分はやろうと思ってる。そうするから、文化性にはね、自分を信じてついてきなさいって言ってる。Okay. I really need to work out more. I mean, it's it's hard to go to to work out with someone who's 85 years old and way more fit than you. So it's just go back home and train. ありがとうございました。ありがとう. <laughs> Do you think there's any hope for me? え、今から今からだからね、中時高なんかね、立派だ、立派。はい、上等。Okay. Hi. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Older people in, in Okinawa place a large value on a concept called ikigai. Ikigai basically is your raison d'etre. It's your, um, what gets you out of bed in the morning. Your reason for keep on going when you're 70 or 80 or 90. Once you stop working and you're a little bit removed from other social roles, you really need some, some purpose in your life. I mean, it could be anything. It could be your grandchildren. It could be painting. It could be doing karate, like they do in Okinawa. It's very personal, but it's an important concept as, as you grow older. It's an important concept in social policy for, for older people. So what do you think about the future for the Blue Zones? Do you think there'll be more, or do you think there'll be less Blue Zones? That all depends on what public health measures we take as societies. And do we make the healthy choice the easy choice? Do we have cities where we have lots of walking paths? So if you do, people will use them. If we don't, people will drive. So there's a lot of what we call blue zone infrastructure that could be taking place. School lunches, cafeterias. Do we need a, a soft drink machine there? What's in the soft drink machine? You get a, there's soft drink machines everywhere in Japan. But if you look, well, what are the choices? Well, water, uh, green tea. Um, are there better options? Yes, better options. Healthy options. If people have two choices, a healthy choice or an unhealthy choice with regards to food or exercise or, or other lifestyle habits, they'll take the easy choice most often. If the healthy choice is the easy choice, then they'll take it. So what you're saying is that you can sit the plan a blue zone. Yes. Yes. I can now take Okinawa off my bucket list. The learnings I will bring with me from this wonderful and varying trip are the following. Always do leave the dining table hungry for more and stick to your social community all your life. Exercising and being active with something you really enjoy is satisfying. And last but not least, we must all find our ikigai, the reason for getting out of the bed in the morning and the thing that give our life its meaning.